people always ask me, what's the first thing to look for in a used car? First thing I look for is I get in the car, turn ignition on. If the check engine light or the service soon light, depending on what kind of car it is, comes on, that's a good start. If that don't come on right when you start, the, when you turn ignition on, it's a deal killer. Stop right there, don't go any further, because what's, what's wrong is somebody cut the wire to that light because they're hiding something. We hook it up to the scanner, the scanner will tell me what's in the memory of the computer. So I can go in there and see what's going on, which, why the check engine light is not coming on, and what it came on for before the guy or whoever cut the light off of the car. Next thing you can do, pop the trunk, look for the spare tire well, open up the cover that's over the spare tire well, see if there's any signs of water or any mildew or anything in there. That's a quick sign too that there's something wrong with the car. It was wrecked in the back. It's got a back glass leaking. You definitely want to make sure that the car's not wrecked. And you got a car that's a ticking time bomb about to blow up that you're about to buy that I will not let you buy. Always, always bring it to a mechanic and let them check it out to be sure for you before you buy a car. Watch out for that brother-in-law deal because you know he's not really family.